What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Rain Meter to make your desktop look as cool as any of these by showing you a simple tutorial I made with a simple setup that will show you how to install skins, use Rain Meter, and program the buttons. Alright, first thing we gotta do is download Rain Meter. Stick with the beta version, there's more compatible skins. After you download it, pause the video and install it. Next, download this BMO skin right here. The link is in the description as well. And then we're gonna download another skin called Simply Nova, and these are all the pieces we need to learn how to use Rain Meter to create our own custom desktop. So the first thing I'm going to do to make sure our desktop starts to look a little bit nicer is I'm going to go down to my taskbar, right click it, go to taskbar settings, and right here I'm going to click this on and it's going to make my taskbar invisible so when I hover my mouse over it, it'll come back up. And I'm going to set my new background, I'll put this link in the description as well, just so we can get the theme going a little bit more with Finn and Jake sitting there with a the sunset. And now that we've done all that, we're going to open up Rain Meter. And if you can't find Rain Meter in your taskbar right here, you can go over to the side where your net uh, network and volume are and find it and double click it over there. Next thing we're going to do is install our skins. We're going to double click the BMO and install it. Don't be afraid if your rain meter disappears, it might just minimize. And we're going to install the other one as well. Now that our desktop's looking sloppy, we're going to get it looking a little more sloppy. Open up rain meter, go to the file that says BMO and double click it. And you can move it anywhere you want. And now we have everything we need to make our desktop. But we don't need a lot of this stuff. So what you can do is right click on the things we don't need and go to undo skin. And what you're going to want to keep is the time and the CPU, the system information. You can choose whatever you want to keep. That's what I'm deciding to keep. My time's on the second screen. And after that, we're going to go ahead and arrange everything to make it look nice. And I'm going to skip through till I'm done with that so you can just see what it looks like. And voila, we have our new desktop. Everything looks beautiful. Now we're going to open Rain Meter back up, go to the BMO folder, click on the BMO file, and we're going to edit the BMO settings. And you can do this for all skins on Rain Meter. The first thing I'm going to want to do to make sure I can't move it is unclick draggable. And you can see all the other options they have down there, and you can feel free to click them as you please. And now we can't drag BMO, but when I click on him, you can see he pops up on stop, top of stuff. So we're going to go to his position and set it to desktop. This way, when I click on him, he won't show up over Windows. Now we're going to do the same thing for our Simply Nova skins by opening up the Simply Nova folder, going to time and date for the time and date one, and copying the same thing you did for BMO, and then going to meters and system and doing the same thing. And after you've done all that, be sure to hit refresh. And after you do that, you'll be able to see you can't move anything, and everything will stick where you put it. And that's perfect. But now we have BMO on our desktop. But it's a little bit useless because... His buttons won't really do anything when we press on them, and we have no icon, so how the hell are we supposed to open our folders? Well, the plus does something, it opens Steam. So now I'm going to show you how to program buttons on Rain Meter, and this will work for other skins as well. So you're going to right click on BMO, or whatever skin you want to edit the button on, and hit Edit Skin. So this notepad probably looks intimidating, but it's all super simple. So as you can see, on the top it says plus button. And there's this path right here to a program next to left up mouse action or whatever it's called. So all you have to do to program these buttons is paste a path in between those quotes under left up action mouse button. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. All you got to do is find a program that you want. In this case, I'm going to use my video editing program. And you're going to hold shift, hold shift, right click and go to copy path. And if you don't have that option when you right click, just regular right click, and where it says target, you can just copy what's in between these two quotation points where I'm highlighting on the screen, and paste that in as well. And if you can't get that, the third way of doing it is go to open file, right click, open file location, then you're gonna go ahead and copy the name of the program you wanna run, click on the top bar right here, click so you can paste it in on the end, Find the fucking name in the drop down list, copy that path right there, and now you have your path. But hopefully the first way will work and you won't have to do any of these other ways. Now that we have our path location copied, all we have to do is paste it in under left up action button. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying it wrong. And make sure that there's only one pair of quotations around it. See, I'm deleting these. Just make sure it only has one set like that. And if you wanted to program it to any other button, all you'd have to do is the same exact thing under the other button. And what you can see me doing here, I'm just going to paste it in. 
and then I'm going to save our document right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and open up RainMeter, hit refresh so all our changes will take effect, and when we hit our buttons, they'll open programs. And just a heads up, uh, I actually program my buttons to be different than what you saw me doing because the original video I recorded for it got deleted and I set it back to my regular settings. But as you can see it's opening up programs and it works just fine. Now that everything's in position and I know everything works perfectly, I'm going to go to layout so I can save my skin and right here I'm going to type in the name I want. I'm going to click save desktop as well and then hit save and you can see it pop up in that list. Now you can see I can load up another one and if I ever get my skin messed up I can just load BMO back up and it'll do all the same stuff. So now that you know how to program buttons and use RainMeter, you can go ahead and make your own custom desktops using these tips that I showed you how to do in the video. And I hope it helped, guys. If it did, like, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Peace out, homies.